We're going to talk about wealth and income. Just to make it concrete so that you can kind of think about my suggestions. I'm going to talk about United States. The highest paid public official is the president of the country and uh, the salary is around $400,000 a year. And what I'm about to say, I think, should work for every other country in the world. It would be insane to pay a nurse, a teacher, a service member, a firefighter, or a police officer less than one-seventh of what the highest paid public official makes. It's insane to pay a person who works a minimum wage job 48 hours a week less than one-twelfth of what the highest paid public official makes. When it comes to people who make more than $400,000, I think they should donate half of what they make above that dollar amount every year to a foundation of their choice or that money should be taxed away. If you make $500,000, you're making $100,000 above that $400,000. Half of that will be $50,000. You should donate it to a foundation that creates jobs, educates, I'm not talking about giving it to a sewer tank, which these days are called think tanks. I'm talking giving it to a foundation that creates jobs, educates, upkeeps this beautiful planet. If you make a million dollars, give $300,000 to a foundation of your choice or get taxed away. Now, when it comes to wealth at the time of death, Multiply 18 by $400,000, that would be $7,200,000. I think at a person, at the time of person's death, anything above that dollar amount, half of it should go to the foundation of a person's own choosing or should be taxed away. So you make 10 million, you have $10 million in wealth at the time of your death, half of what is above $7,200,000, which is $1,400,000, should go to a foundation of your choice or be taxed away. And I think if we replicate the same method for every country in the world, I believe that would make us have a better future, that would make planet a better place. My next suggestion is, this should be done gradually because I think the interests of politicians and the nations are, are so that they will stop this from happening. But I think any money that comes from extracting mineral in any part of the world, at first, one-tenth of that money should go to a fund that will educate, create jobs, make sure the planet stays beautiful, keep the planet clean and beautiful. At first, after one generation, a quarter of that money that comes from extractions anywhere should go to that fund. Within two generations, half of that money should go to the fund. I was born in Iran. I don't see why within two generations we cannot give half of the money that's extracted from oil to the fund that will create jobs for anybody in the world. I mean, eventually we're gonna we're living on the same planet. A child getting educated anywhere, being taken care of anywhere, would be to the advantage of all of us. We look at people as if they are just machines. We don't look at them at the, as the greatest resource on this planet. We don't. Well, unfortunately, we look at them like numbers. Like one day they will be good serfs for us. I'm talking about the people who have a lot of money right now. I'm talking about the people who they put in office. People are not serfs. People are not numbers. If you look at a child as somebody 
that's full of energy, full of life, full of talent, then that's what you're going to get. If you look at them like a number, like a surf, that's what you're going to raise them to be. And a good human being never allows that. <clears throat> I know these suggestions at first might shock some of especially the richer people. So they'll say, oh, there won't be any innovation, there won't be any entrepreneurs. No, no. The most innovators go in it for the love of it. Because they just love an idea and they just pursue it. Money is byproduct. The ones that think of money at first, they're charlatans. They are, they are not innovators. So that's something for everybody to think about. And uh, I will talk more about these ideas. I just wanted to get it out before my uh, volunteer work starts. <clears throat>